gonna try to try to get through this without crying. I won't though. If you are in attendance today, you've been an important part of my journey of where I am right now in my life, and for that I want to thank you for the role you played to get me to this point. The last couple of years have been very challenging for my family and I. As you may already know, I was diagnosed with a glioblastoma tumor, which is grade four brain cancer. And that significantly changed the trajectory of my life and my family's lives. All things considered, my new life mantra has become carpe diem. And I live by this every day, and I would urge all of you to try to do the same. A couple of months ago, I was informed by our athletic director, Mr. Aaron Sumner, who was in attendance today, who said there was an, a student athlete movement to have this beautiful brand new eight lane track named after me. Initially, I was in shock and felt undeserving. However, after some time and discussion with colleagues, parents, athletes, and students, I started to realize this was actually going to happen after a petition circulated around Norton's with student athletes at the driver's seat. I have never been more humbled in my life. Not a day goes by when I think about currently what's happening right now, and I'm brought to tears, and my wife Kayleen will corroborate that. I've been crying every day for two weeks. On that note, I want to take the time to thank my family for being here. My incredibly understanding, supportive, indefatigable, and loving wife Kayleen, and my beautiful daughter Vera, and, and my son to be on the way to on Halloween Day. My mother Donna and my father Robert, who are sitting right over there, my sister Ashley and her husband Yasha, and their children Dorian and Maeve, who are sitting in front of us right here. And my sister, my twin sister, Brooke. We don't look anything alike, if that's your question. We're different sexes. And I have brown hair, and she has blonde hair. And her child, Christopher. Finally, all of my loving and supportive in-laws, Dan, Karen, Sean, Deb, Matt, and Bree, who are here, along with Nina, McKenna, Ian, and Callan, those other two cuties right there. I'd also like to recognize the work of my co-coaches over the years. They made me look good time and time again. I've been saying this for years. I'm only as good as the people I surround myself and work with. So I will take credit for surrounding myself with people that are really good people, really good coaches. They have been my friends, my colleagues, my confidants, and my therapists. Without them, there certainly is no me. Coach Lindsey Costa, Coach Christine Bradley, Coach Lars Tanglin, Coach Gretchen Stalters, Coach Alex Evans, Coach Kelly Allen, Coach Ricky Williams, Coach Mike Whiteside, Coach Mike Brito, Coach Brian Gannon, Coach Liza Grassi, Grasso, and Coach Kelsey Klein. I also want to thank the alumni and boosters and parents today, as well as all the current students and athletes for your attendance. There are a lot of people here, so I'm a little nervous for this one. Thank you to all of the parents who have worked tirelessly over the years for Norton Cross Country and Track and Field. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to be here, especially on a Monday at dinner time. Rest assured, this is a memory I will take with me for the rest of my life. Please know you've all made a significant impact on myself, and I would not be standing here today were it not for all your support these last couple of years in the last decade plus. And last but certainly not least, but I'd, like to, I'd like to send a special thank you to the Norton School Committee for their unwavering support of me as a teacher and a coach and always believing in the teacher-coach dynamic. And on that note, there are a few people that we meet in our lives who can change the trajectory of them forever. I'm speaking for myself and many others when I say this person came to Norton and he changed the game. We have come so far with him as a leader and he will be greatly missed. Dr. Bayetta.
will be leaving us this year to make his mark in another town, and they are lucky to have him. This new facility will be a part of your legacy here too as well, sir. Thank you for all you've done to support the years, over the years, and everything you've done for Norton Public Schools. Finally, and once again, I'm so humbled and honored to be here with you today. With a thank you not feeling like enough, I will leave you with my new life mantra again. Carpe diem.